morning friends today topic is AIGF DG shipping exit exam question and answer part 2 question number 21 in dual fuel diesel engine two stroke engines select the correct statement option A the opening closing of fuel valve is controlled according to the injection pressure of the gas but the opening and closing of the gas injection valve is controlled by the controlling of hydraulic oil this valve opens only when the pressure of the control oil has increased option b the opening closing of the fuel valve is controlled according to the injection pressure of the gas but the opening Closing of the gas injection valve is controlled by the controlling hydraulic oil. This valve closes only when the pressure of the control oil has increased. Option C. The opening closing of fuel valve is controlled according to the injection pressure of the fuel oil. But the opening closing of the gas injection valve is controlled by the controlling hydraulic oil. This valve opens only when the pressure of the control oil has increased. Option D. The opening closing of the fuel valve is controlled according to the injection pressure of the fuel oil but the opening closing of the gas injection valve is controlled by the controlling hydraulic oil this valve closes only when the pressure of the control oil has increased the correct answer is option c the opening closing of fuel valve is controlled according to the injection pressure of the fuel oil but the opening closing of the gas injection valve is controlled by the controlling hydraulic oil. This valve opens when the pressure of the control oil has increased. So, this is telling in dual fuel engine, normal fuel injection is same. It will be opened by its fuel injection, by fuel oil pressure. By the pump, fuel pump, pump, pump the pressure. When the pump, pump pressure increases on the line, the high pressure goes, the valve will be opened. But, the same in gas valve in gas injection for take the consideration of MEGI engine. We have window valve and also gas injection valve. There is a injector window valve allow the gas from the line to come into the fuel injector. It will be readily available in that location. And when your ELGI gas injection valve give the signal then it will open the hydraulic oil passes to the fuel injector which will push the fuel injector to open gas injection valve to open and then this gas is released both window valve and inject, uh, gas injection valves are operated by hydraulic oil pressure so other sites and other videos i saw and website also they see given option d is the answer but it is not a correct answer option c is the correct answer they said wall closes it's not wall closing wall opens okay that is the difference question number 22 what is the designed boil of rate for a typical membrane type lng carrier option a 0.15 percentage of fuel cargo tank capacity per day option b 0.05 percentage of fuel cargo tank capacity per day option c 0.25 percentage of full cargo tank capacity per day option d 0.5 percentage of full cargo tank capacity per day the correct answer is option a 0.15 percentage of fuel cargo tank capacity per day Question number 23. What makes up the standard ship board parameters for custody transfer measurement? 1. Temperature. 2. Level. 3. Pressure. 4. Density. Options given are option A. All of the above. Option B. 1, 2, 3. Option C. C. 2 and 3. Option D. 2 only. The correct answer is option b so in standard shipboard parameters we will take consideration of temperature level and pressure 
not the density. Question number 24. A bump test in gas meter is option A. Test to check the instrument is not damaged physically. Option B. A qualitative check to see whether the sensor is functional. Option C is the same as zero calibration. Option D is same as fan adjustment. The correct answer is option B. A qualitative check to see whether the sensor is functional. So, here pump test is nothing but you checking your gas meter with a span gas and ensure it is function properly. If there is any error, there will be a correction we have to carry out as per the maker instruction. Question number 25. Auto cycle engines. Option A. Are fitted in all automobiles. Option B. Always use spark ignition. Option C. Compress an air fuel mixture before igni igniting it. Option D. All the other options are incorrect. The correct answer is option C. Compress an air fuel mixture before igniting it. You can think this is spark ignition engine, spark ignition. But if you see your diesel engine, post of diesel engine generator, it is also auto operate under auto cycle. But there is no spark ignition. So they compress an air fuel mixture which reaches the combustion temperature to burn. So option C is the correct answer for question number 25. Question number 26. Single gas fuel designs are fitted with option A. Redundant piping from the bunker tank to the consumer. Option B. Redundant pipes from bunker tank to fuel preparation room. Option C. Single pipeline system with extra thick steel. Option D. Stored gas fuel in the machinery space as a backup carry energy around your system is called the working fluid. The correct answer is redundant piping from the bunker tank to the consumer. From the bunker tank to the consumer, the pipe should be redundant because this is a pipe which is carrying the gas. So this pipe should be 100% redundant. See, it should not leak and it should be in intact. If it is leaking, then it will be there is a chances of combustion and also fire hazard to overcome this and also there is a embrittlement of the ship structure is to overcome all this thing it should be 100% redundant some ships will have the gas detector systems some have the double wall pipe arrangements so it's, some methods should be provided for this question number 27 LNG is a low flash point fuel however it is permitted as a fuel in engine if as below option a the fuel should be delivered to the engine only in liquid state option b the gas fuel will be mixed with nitrogen to keep in the non-flammable range option c the gas fuel is sent in double walled pipes gas directors are fitted in the inner pipe option d the gas fuel is sent in double walled pipes, the annular space is ventilated. The correct answer is the gas fuel is sent in double walled pipe, the annular space is ventilated in order to remove the gas continuously from the pipe. If there is any, it is ventilated. The double walled pipe, we are not maintaining vacuum, we keep it ventilated so it is in pressurized condition. If there is any chance of leaking of LNG, this can be pass through between this duct space and it will be detected in the exhaust fan area where there is a gas detector system is provided in it. So this is a way and also helps to prevent this gas come into contact with hazardous zones such as engine room. Next question. Simops simultaneous operation refers to option A bunkering while sailing on bunker and bunkering oil alongside a jetty. Option B, other transfer operations such as cargo operation, loading of provision, etc. 
option C bunkering and the main engine maintenance simultaneously. The correct answer is other transfer operations such as cargo operation loading of provisions. So any operation including with bunkering operation such as cargo operation loading operation is considered as the SIMOPS. Next question. Question number 29. LNG bunkering is different from conventional liquid fuel bunkering due to the following. It is option A. It is treated as cargo transfer and the receiving vessel's chief officer will be responsible for the operation. Option B. LNG bunkering operation is a closed operation similar to LNG cargo operation. Option C. LNG bunkering is an extremely high risk operation. Option D. LNG bunker is always of the same quality unlike HFO. Correct answer is option C. LNG bunkering is an extremely high risk operation. So LNG bunkering is a high risk operation. That's why we are is different from conventional liquid fuel bunkering. As I said, LNG bunkering is maintaining it, it has to be in liquid form in minus 161 degrees Celsius. Its boiling point is minus 161. When it comes into contact with atmosphere, which is in the positive pressure, it will be easily boiled and form a vapor. If it is this vapor is within the range, this will lead to fire hazard. Even if this liquid LNG became vapor coming in contact with your ship structure, your ship structure is not is, cannot withstand this negative temperature. This will lead to brittle fracture and ships can sink and this structure can damage also. To overcome this, this operation we take it as a high risk operation. Question number 30. Das could be sometimes considerably below the lower flammable limit. Option A. Dangerous concentration levels. Option B. Deep concentration levels. Option C. Deep connection levels. Option D. Depth concentration levels. The correct answer is option A. Dangerous concentration level. So, even if it is L LFL, there is a chances of concentration level will be dangerous. Question number 31. What are the arrangements complied with the following requirement? Option A. Failure development that can be reliably detected before reaching a critical state. Option B. Failure development that cannot be safely detected before reaching a critical state. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Failure developments that can be reliably detected before reaching a critical state. So this is the answer. This is the correct answer. Some websites, some channels, they say option C is the answer. Cannot be the cannot be the option C cannot be the answer because failure development system should be such a way that it has to be identified before it reaches a critical state and it should be reliable. That is the requirement. So option A is the correct answer for question number 31. Question number 32. To ensure no release occurs during the hookup or disconnect of any component during the bunkering process. Option A. Draining of the bunker piping system prior to connector. Disconnect or disconnect is necessary. Option B. Gassing up of the bunkering piping system with LNG prior to connect or disconnect is necessary. Option C. Purging of the bunkering piping system with inert gas prior to connect or disconnect necessary. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option C. Purging of the bunkering piping system with inert gas prior to connect or disconnect is necessary. So this is the one we will always carry out in order to prevent any air which is in come into contact with your LNG. So it will always inert in order to keep the O2 level less so it will not will fall under the flammability range. 
question number 33 compression ratio is a ratio of the absolute dash the discharge from a compressor divided by the absolute pressure option a volume option b pressure option c mass option d temperature the correct answer is option b pressure question number 34 in a gas safe machinery space any single fault is not allowed to cause the gas release into the machinery space and hence option a alarms and gas detectors are required to be installed option b pipeline should be thick walled and of robust construction option c gas pipelines should be checked regularly for leakage option d preventive measures such as double walled piping system must be allowed to capture the leaked gas the correct answer is option d preventive measures such as double walled piping system must be allowed to capture the leaked gas this is i already explained on this video and the previous questions so we have the gas detector to do this job question number 35 in gas compressors and pumps arrangements are made to ensure that under no circumstances gas can be introduced in the gas control section or gas fueled machinery option a heavy fuel oil option b liquefied gases option c water option d inert gas the correct answer is liquefied gases so liquefied gases can, can should not be introduced in the gas control section or gas fuel machinery as i said earlier it is dangerous it will damage the structure and it will fall into the hazardous space hazardous region there is a chance of fire and if it is in a confined space, it also can remove the oxygen from this location and will become toxic also in nature. Question number 36. In liquefaction plant, which gas is renewed as it freezes at a temperature above boiling point of liquefied natural gas? That is, they are telling above minus 161 degrees Celsius, which gas can be in removed? Option A, methane. Option B, hydrocarbons. Option C, carbon dioxide. Option D, ethane. The correct answer is option C, carbon dioxide. So still you can remove the carbon dioxide when it is above the boiling point of liquefied natural gas. So liquefied natural gas is nothing but methane, ethane, propane. So all consists of the CH compounds, hydrocarbon compounds. Question number 37. Substance of cargo vapor in air which is not flammable. Option A, ammonia. Option B, methane. Option C, chlorine. Option D, propane. The correct answer is option C, chlorine. So, Chlorine is a compound which is not flammable. Question number 38. When electrical equipment fitted in an ESP protected machinery space should have emergency shutdown ELT. Option A. Ventilation fan shall be certified safe for hazardous area zone 1. Option B. Fire and gas hydrocarbon detectors. Option C fire and gas alarm option d all of the above the correct answer is all of the above so they need ventilation fan they need fire and gas hydrocarbon detectors and also there should be fire and gas alarm this all the requirement should be fitted in the machinery space if a, if there is any gas leakage we can find it out if any there is a gas leak to the machinery space we can find it out any fire hazard we can find it out and ventilation fan should be certified in order to be used in the hazardous area same like your pump room and guys one small information if you don't know any question any answer you can go with the option all of the above 
always most of the questions all of the above will be the correct answer question number 39 for engine fitted with ignition systems when put the correct operation of the ignition system on each unit shall be verified option a prior to admission of gas fuel option b after admission of gas fuel option c every 3 months option d as time permit the, the correct answer is prior to admission of gas fuel for engine fitted with ignition system that is ignition engine correct operation of ignition system on each unit shall be verified be prior to admission of gas fuel before admitting the gas fuel to the engine combustion engine ig engine it has to be verified that means is already crossed its engine piston cross its position then is confirmed then only the valve has to be open as i said in this video the valve open is controlled by hydraulic oil so your egi gas injection valve will open only when it reaches its admission point and it, once it releases it will lead to a combustion so this is part of electronic engine controls with your each unit's positions piston position and it will be allow the egi valve to open and then it will lead to open your gas injection valve question number 40 stop valves shall be fitted in the water spray application may supply line option a at interval not exceeding 35 meters for the purpose of isolating damaged cylinders option b at interval not exceeding 45 meters for the purpose of isolating damaged sector option c at interval not exceeding 50 meters for the purpose of isolating damaged sector option d at interval not exceeding 40 meters for the purpose of isolating damaged sector the correct answer is option d so stop valve should be fitted in the water press water spray system at a distance not exceeding 40 meters for the purpose of damaged sector isolated isolating the damaged sector it should be within the 40 meters not exceeding it that is the correct answer Okay friends thank you if you like my video please like if you want to see more video related to marine please subscribe my channel any doubts any clarification any suggestions always welcome in comment box thank you